Well, this is a living museum because it has activities like the sea and sail camp and the schooners uh, that young people and their parents can take part in the actual hands-on experience of how it was to be on those working boats and to uh, throw a cast net and to learn how to make a cast net and all the things that go with the skills of working people that made this industry what it is and it's part of the culture of Biloxi and the Gulf Coast. If you want to know anything about the maritime and seafood industry, you can take about two hours and tour the museum. There will be different um, videos to uh, explain some of the exhibits. There will be exhibits on shrimping, crabbing, oystering, wooden boat building, blacksmithing, um, net making, uh, most anything you can imagine to deal with the seafood and maritime industries. And there is also a hurricane exhibit gallery that will feature both Katrina and uh, Camille. Obviously you lost a lot of stuff to Katrina. How did you recollect? It has been amazing. Since the building has started taking shape, people have started calling uh, with their artifacts. It's, it's amazing the artifacts that the people did not lose and they still have and are wanting to donate and become a part of the museum because this makes us all a huge family. Everybody has a part in building this museum with all of their artifacts, photographs, whatever it is they're donating. It's part of their history and heritage. The rest of